Let me ask you first of all, you had complaints about how these judges are appointed, the way the due process works in the context of, of the SEC. Uh, now you look at the broader decision. Do you forget your complaints about everything else, or are you still upset about the way this transpired, if not the outcome overall? Look, I think there are purposes to the administrative courts, but they're not, they don't serve the due process needs of someone who's faced with this jeopardy, their life savings, you know, their career, their reputation. Um, you want the due process protections offered by an Article III court. I had no depositions. I had no discovery. After the stay was lifted by the appellate court, I had six weeks to get ready. I needed to move an army and pay for an army. Most people would not have had the resources to do that, and I just don't think these courts are built for these type of cases. So I'm grateful to the judge for following the evidence, but I do think that these type of cases do not belong in administrative courts. In the middle of this battle, if not this war, you changed your general. You had a counsel at Skadden Arps and you switched for one at Gibson Dunn. Why did you make the change and how did the, the, the jurisprudence, the way that you were being represented, change as a result of that? Um, you know, look, most lawyers don't want to go into these administrative courts. I mean, yeah, there's a over a 90% win rate for the SEC in these courts. There's no due process in terms of discovery and depositions. And I think, you know, Skadden was wonderful, but they really thought the fight against the administrative court system was the way to go. Um, and I had very little time to get ready. And Gibson Dunn, you know, wanted Randy Mastro, who's an incredible well known, general. To say the least, yeah. And then Susan Brunet, who's been with me since the beginning of time, since early when I started Patriarch. Um, she and her partner, Hilary Richard, have always represented me. Um, they were willing to get in there and fight. And I felt like I needed a complete and utter vindication so that, you know, my companies and my people wouldn't have to live under this shadow.